Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. I'm coming at you from Jackson Hole. We're here at the Vim studio and we are going to spend about 35, 40 minutes doing a nice solid strength workout. So we're gonna start off with a warm up. We've got three rounds of exercise, uh, three exercises. We've got a lower body circuit, an upper body circuit, and then we'll finish off with some core. So our warm up, three rounds, we're gonna do 10 overhead squats. If you have a towel, you can use a towel for this. If not, just hands overhead. By the way, this whole workout can be done with body weight. If you have dumbbells, you can grab your dumbbells. If you have a kettlebell, you can grab your kettlebell. And if you have a mat or a towel for the ground, that's great too. But otherwise, if you don't have anything, you can hang out with me. You don't need anything, just your body. So three rounds of this warm up. we're gonna start with overhead squats. So our feet are gonna be hip width apart. We're gonna grab our towel if you have it, go straight up overhead. I need you to hinge back, so push your butt back to the wall, and then sit down in that chair, keeping your arms nice and tall, keeping your core nice and tall, all the way up, full extension at the hips. All the way down, we're doing 10 of these, that's two. Strong core, deep breath in, all the way down. Drive up, three, four, Hinge back, sit in that seat, arms stay up, that's five, six, you should feel this in your core, glutes, quads, seven, keeping those arms nice and tall, eight, nine, and ten. Moving into our plank tap, so we're going to head, head down to our mat, shoulders over the wrist, butt tucked, we're going to pike back, tap our right knee, Plank back. Two, tap our left, plank back. Three, tap our right, plank back. Four, five, six. So work in the shoulders, warming up the core. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to plank. Standing up. Feet about hip width apart. We're going to grab your arms, put your hands on the back of your head. Get a slight bend of the knee, push your butt back, and do 10 good mornings. So stop just at hip level, come back up, full extension, just at hip level, come back up, feeling that work in the hamstrings, the glute, the lower back. We got 10 of these, we're on floor, pulling that belly button into the spine. So from the side, slight bend of the knee, pushing the butt back, nice and flat, at six, Seven, we got eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're going to start from the beginning. So grabbing that towel, we got ten overhead squats. This time we're going to add a knee, okay? So getting that heart rate working up just a little bit more. Towels overhead, put the, push the butt back. Arms stay nice and tall, so think of your ears in between your elbows. Squat down, come up, let's do left knee. Squat down, come up, right knee. We got 10 of these. Four, stay nice and tall. Five, weights on the heels. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, back to our plank taps. Again, starting in that plank position, shoulders are pushed up, right over the wrist. We're gonna pike up, tap that left, pike, tap the right. Pike, tap the left, pike. That's four, five, six, seven, Eight, shoulders come over the wrist, nine, and ten. Back to our good mornings. Again, working the glutes, warming up the hamstrings, hands come back to the back of the head, feet are hip width apart, slight bend in the knee, push the butt back, nice solid dip, keeping that core nice and tight. Belly button pulls into the spine. We've got ten of these, that's three. Waking up the posterior chain, everything on the back of that body. Five, 
six, seven, hips come forward at the top, eight as you squeeze your butt, nine, and 10. All right, last round for this warm up. Grabbing our towel, overhead squats with the knee. Arms are up overhead, ears are between the elbows. We're gonna push our butt back, sit in our chair, stay nice and tall, all the way up. Full extension, left knee, all the way up. Right knee, three, four,
All right, then we're gonna do touch, jump, touch. We're gonna do six total. So you're gonna squat down, touch the ground, back stays high, chest stays high. We're gonna explode up, touch, two shuffles, touch the ground, explode, two shuffles. So touch, jump, touch, that's three, touch, jump, touch, that's four, touch, touch, that's five, touch, jump, touch, six, touch, jump, touch. All right, so we get a little explosive movement after that strength movement. Now we've got some explosive step skip ups. Right leg's gonna come back. We're gonna skip up to that elbow, getting that nice hop on that left leg. We're gonna do that 10 times each side. Getting our heart rate up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Size one. Nice big single leg skip two. Getting that oblique working as you cross the body. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we'll do a quick stretch. Then we're going to work through that circuit three more times. Cross that right foot over the left. Nice stretch in that hamstring. Taking a second to catch our breaths and switch sides. Left over right, nice stretch here. And we're ready to go again. Grabbing that kettlebell or dumbbell in your right hand. You're gonna bow, get your balance, single leg balance, pull that shoulder in, hinge, feeling that stretch, that work in the glute where the glute meets the hamstring, come back, Reverse lunge, that's one. Lock that shoulder, kick that leg up, that's two. Lock that shoulder, kick that leg up, three. Stepping back, four. Five. Left leg should be feeling this. And six, switching sides. Left arm, left leg. Lock the shoulder. Kick the leg up. Catch and lunge. Kick the leg up. Catch and lunge. On this lunge, driving through that front heel. Really engaging your glutes, catching your balance if you need to. Three. Four. Five, right leg, right glute should start to burn. And six. All right. Now we got our six touch, jump, touch. Again, big squat, explode, squat, shuffle. Big squat, explode, squat, shuffle. That's two, three, four. If you have room, do two shuffles. Five. If you don't, just do one. And six. All right. Back to our skip ups. Crossing that knee. One. Tapping back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Switching sides. One. Two. Three. Four. Lots of single leg stuff. Eight, stability and balance. And 10. Woo. Right leg, cross over that left. Taking a little break. Again, this isn't time, so if you need to go slower, that's totally fine. If you need to pause and work on something, that's great. Cross left over right. A little bit of stretch. We get two more of those. Solid low body strength work. Grabbing our kettlebell again. If you don't have kettlebells or dumbbell, body weight is just fine. So you'll hinge, pull up, 
Lunge back for one. Reset, hinge, you're still working that same muscle. Lunge back for two. Hinge. Step back for three. Hinge, still feeling in that butt, I promise. For four. Five. And six. As you get a little more comfortable with the balance, try not to step back. Step back or, or tap in between your rounds. Left side, left arm, lock that shoulder. Single leg deadlift for one. Lunge back, driving that front knee out. Hinge. Lunge back for two. Hinge. For three. Four. Keeping that shoulder locked in. See, I'm not using weight and I'm feeling it. Five. And six. All right. Touch, jump, touch. Right to it. Go one. Two. Shuffle, shuffle. Three, big explosion. Four. Five. And six. Nice work. Tap back. Right knee to left arm. Pull it up. Single leg hop. Working on that balance. Single leg power. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Other side. One. Big power. Four. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Cross that right leg over left. Get a little rest. Nice stretch in that right hamstring. Bending forward. Catching our breath. And then other side, cross that left over right. Keeping the back nice and straight. As you feel that stretch in the back of your leg. We go one more round. I'm going back to my kettlebell. Right side. Shoulder locks in. Slight bend in that left knee. Trying to kick that right leg up as high as we can. And go. Lift. Reverse lunge. Driving up through that front heel. Hinge. Lunge. Front knee on that lunge drives out. Make sure you're not diving in. That foot should be straight ahead. Three. Four. Five. One more. And six. Other side. Left arm, left leg. Hinging on that right leg, you should feel it in your right hamstring, right glute. Lock the shoulder, kick back, come up, and lunge. Shoulder locked, kick back, nice and stable on that right foot. That's two, three, Four, glutes are working hard right now. Five. And six. All right. We are done with that kettlebell for now. Touch, jump, touch. Touch, explode. Touch down. Shuffle, shuffle. Two, this is three. Switching hands if you want, it's four, five, and six. Last movement here for our lower body. Tap back, reach across, big jump on that left leg. Two, three, four, five, six. I love single leg power, eight, nine, 
and 10. Okay, one. Last set here, two. Jumping so high, five. As high as we can go here, six. Stabilizing as we land, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One more stretch, right leg over left. Nice big hamstring stretch. Catching that breath. We're done with our lower body movement for today. Left over right. Nice big stretch down. Catching the breath. Getting ready for our upper body. So same thing. We've got three exercises. We're gonna do 10 of each. If you have some light dumbbells, you can use them. Otherwise, we don't need anything here. Okay, just a mat. So, first exercise, I'll walk through all three of them and then we can get through our circuit. We're gonna do crab dips with a kick. So a crab dip, we're gonna work our triceps and biceps. So we're gonna be in this crab here. We're gonna dip down, come up, kick opposite. Touch your balance, dip down, come up, touch opposite. Lots of balance today. We'll do 10 of those. Well, then we'll go into our plank. We're gonna do a lateral plank walk, okay? So left leg, left arm, we're gonna walk over. Right arm and left leg gonna meet. That's one. Right arm, left leg, walk. Right arm, right arm, right arm, right leg, walk over. Left arm, left leg, come to meet. That's two. So lateral walk. 10 of those. And then the last one, if you wanna use your weights, great. We'll do a little hinge. We're gonna row. Then we're gonna fly. Then we're gonna press. Back down, row, fly, press. I need your core pulled in, protecting your lower back. Slight hinge, bend in the knees, hinge at the waist. And then we'll do a little stretch. Four rounds of that, starting with our crab dips. 10 of those. So back into that crab. Again, we're gonna tricep dip, catch our balance, kick. You can move your hands back and forth. For the dip, palm, fingers should be pacing toes. So you'll dip, then you can switch around. That's three, dip, switch around, that's four, dip, five, opposite toe, opposite finger touch. If this is too much, just go with the dip. We got seven, dip, tap, eight, dip, tap, nine, dip, tap, 10. All right, lateral plank walks. Again, right arm, right leg, move over. Left arm, left leg, meet, that's one. Left arm, left leg, over. Right arm, right leg, two. Three, wrists right under the shoulders, four. Try not to let that butt sag, five. Six, seven. Belly button to spine, eight. Nine, over for 10. Oh, last one, grabbing those weights if you can. Hinge at the waist, keeping that butt back, chest tall, sucking that belly into the spine. Row, fly, press, it's one. Back down, row, fly, press, it's two. Three. That's four. Five. Nice and light on these so we don't strain our back. Six. Even if you don't have weight on these, they should be, you should be feeling them. Seven. Fly. Press for eight. Relax the neck. Pull the elbows in tight. Out. Press for nine. Last one. Elbows in tight. Out. Press for 10. All right. We got one round through that. 
Let's grab our elbow, give ourselves a nice little stretch. Deep breath in, catch that breath. Again, these aren't timed, so go at your own pace, pause, do what you need. Stretch that other side and release. All right, back to our crab kicks. Again, if the kick is too much, just do the dip. I just want you focusing on that upper body right now. So into that crab position, fingers face the toes for the dip. If you're gonna press up, dip. If you can, tap, dip, tap, dip, tap. Triceps, biceps, that's four. That's five. Dip, tap, six, seven, probably feel this in your core, eight, nine, and ten. All right, lateral plank blocks. If these are too challenging for you, we can do them on our knees. We'll just go left with your arms, back, and then right, and back. Okay, that's your modification. Just keep that belly pulled up, hips are forward, tuck the tailbone. All right, 10 of these, right arm, left leg to the right, together for one, to the left for two. Shoulders over wrist, three, four, five. If you're shaking, that's good, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. <sighs> All right, row, fly, press. Finding those little weights. If you want to go heavy, you can go heavy. Just protect the back. Hinging, elbows stay nice and tight on the row. We row back, we fly out, we press up. Row back, fly out. Press up. Then we reverse it on the way back. Row up, fly out, press up. Four, row up, fly out, press up. It's five, row up, fly out, press up for six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Yes. All right, a little stretch. Two runs through that. Grabbing that right left elbow with your right hand. Nice tricep stretch here. Standing nice and tall. Deep breaths, catching it all. And release. Left hand grabs right elbow. Nice big stretch, catching the breath. We get two more rounds there. And release, all right, back to our crab. Fingers facing toes. Push that butt up. Okay, so squeezing the butt, making sure it's nice and tight. Dip down, tap, one, dip down, tap, two, dip down, tap, three, tap, four, five, six, seven, using our body weight to build that muscle, eight, nine, dip down, and ten. Lateral plank walks. Again, your modification is on your knees. You'll walk out to the left, back over to the right. For everyone else, we're doing 10 of these. Right arm, left leg to the right, and meet for one to the left, meet for two. Three, four, five, six, seven, shoulders over wrists. Eight, make sure the tailbone's tucked. Nine, and 10. Row, fly, press. Slight bend, hinge 
reach forward, elbows rotated towards that body, nice and tight, we row up, we fly out, we press for one. Reverse, row up, fly out, press for two. Three, four, keep those elbows tight to that body on that row. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Whew. All right, three rounds down, one to go. Let's get a little stretch. Right hand grabs the left elbow. Take a little breather. Get that breath back. Feel that nice tricep stretch. That'll feel good going into that crab. One more round of upper body work, then we'll move on to core release. Switch sides, left hand, grab that right elbow, big stretch. We're almost there, almost there. And release, okay, last round. Crab, dip to top. Fingers face the toes to the heels. Pull up, squeeze that butt. Engage the core, deep breath, dip down, come up, tap one. Dip down, come up, tap two. Dip down, come up, tap three. Remember if the tap is too hard, just go regular dips. Five, I'd rather the dip than the tap. Six, seven, <laughs> see, even I lose my balance. Eight, Nine, we got one more big dip, big push, and 10, nice work. Okay, bad row plank walks. If you need a modification, use the modification. Otherwise, roll up onto those toes, find that plank, push through the shoulders, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the belly into the spine, right arm, right leg, walk together. That's one, left leg, left arm, left leg, walk together, that's two, right, together three left together four five six seven strong core here almost there eight two more nine keep that form ten and release one more row fly press we're almost there you got this Hinge at the knees, bend at the waist, rotate those elbows in towards the body. Everything stays nice and tight as we row up. We fly out, press elbows by the ears back down. It's one. Ears between the elbows on the press. We got three, four, Five, almost there, six, hang with me, pull up, straight up, seven, big press, keep those elbows tight, eight, fly out, big press, it's nine, elbows tight, fly out, big press, ten, I think, one more just for good measure in case I counted wrong, and press. All right, one last stretch here on our upper body circuit, and then we'll move to core. Left arm grabs the right elbow. Nice big stretch here, pulling that tricep, standing up nice and tall, getting a little core stretch while we're here. Release, other side, right hand grabs left elbow. Couple deep breaths and release. Core set. We've got four rounds and then we are done. Four different exercises. We don't need our weights anymore. First exercise, we've got bird dog. So you're gonna be on your hands and knees, you can be on your mat. We're gonna 
go opposite leg, opposite arm extend. So my right arm will extend, my left leg will extend, and then I'm gonna rotate. So I'm gonna pull my right elbow to my side and at the same time pull my left knee up to my side. So for a front view, full extend arm and leg, rotate leg and arm back, okay? Then we'll go back out to extension, pull back in, back out to extension, pull back in. We're gonna do five of those on each side. V-ups, we're gonna do 10. So we'll go to our mats, full extension, V all the way up. Full extension, V all the way up. If you pull your knees in, that makes it a little easier, or you can try to touch your toes. That's a challenging one. We're gonna do 10 side crunches on our left. So you're here, pulling the legs up to meet the hands, and then we'll do 10 on the right. Four rounds of that, then we're done. Starting with that bird dog to rotation. Right hand, left leg, fully extend out. Pull that right arm, left knee rotate, extend out, that's one. Pull the belly button in, nice flat back, that's two. Elbow comes out to the side, knee comes up, that's three. Squeeze, that's four. Opposite side, that's five. Okay, knees together, hands together. Other side, left hand up, right leg out. Same thing, we're gonna pull that right elbow, pull that right knee. One, two, three, four, and five. V-ups, 10 of them. All the way down, extend, come up for one. Extend, come up for two. Extend for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Side crunch. On our laying on our left side, ten of these, we're gonna pull our left, our bot, our legs up to our left arm. So one, feeling that in that right side, using your right arm for leverage is fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roll over other side. Using that left arm for leverage this time. Legs come up to meet the right arm. It's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are our four movements. We're going to do that three more times. So we're starting again with that bird dog to rotate. Right arm, left leg, extend all the way out, pull that knee up, elbow down, Woo. my hips are cracking, one, two, keep that back nice and flat, three, try to keep the hips nice and flat, four, and five, hands and knees meet, left arm, left, right leg extend, left arm pulls out, left knee pulls up. Three, four, five. Ten V ups. Back to your mat. Again, the hard version. Stretching, touching your toes all the way up. If you're tired like me, you can pull your knees in. That's three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and side crunches. Laying on that right side. Legs come up to meet the left hand. One, two, lifting that core. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Finish in round two. Legs come up to meet right hand. Push your core up. One, two, three, four, five. Exhaling as we go up. Six. Inhaling as you go down. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, two down, two to go. Starting again with that bird dog. Nice flat back, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone. Extend the right arm, extend the left leg, pull down and rotate. One, really squeeze that shoulder down. Squeeze while you're pulling that leg up. Three, four, and five. Hands and knees meet. Extend left arm, extend right leg. Squeeze out, one. Keep everything lifted nice and high, two, three, four, and five. Yes. We got 10. We're on round three, guys. We're almost there. We'll extend out, pull the knees to chest. Extend out, knees to chest, two. Three, a four, a five, six, almost there, seven, big pull, eight, nine, ten, onto our side crunches. Right side, using that right arm for leverage, picking that core and those legs up to meet the arm. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blowing out on the up. Eight, nine, ten. Other side. Left arm for leverage, pulling the core and the feet together. One, inhale on the way down. Two, exhale on the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One more round, then we are done. Back into that bird dog. Nice tabletop. We're gonna extend right arm, left leg nice and high. Pull that elbow down, pull that knee up. One, two, three, four, five. Feel that core working hard. Making sure that belly button's pulled up the spine. Back's nice and flat. One, two, three, four, and five. You might notice your mobility is a little different on each side. My right leg is much harder to get up and in. So just knowing your body, knowing that things are a little different, finding some things to work on. V ups, 10. Pull in tight to your chest. One, two. If you're still doing the hard version, your BA, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Almost there. Last two exercises. Side crunches on both sides, then we are done. Feet come up to meet the arms, lift that core up the ground. That's two. That's four. Six, eight, and ten, I think. Last one. 
on that left side. Right arm up, core comes up to meet the legs. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that is it. Let's go into our tabletop. Push our hips back to our heels in a nice child's pose. Stretch those arms out. Open the hips, knees nice and wide. And just hang out here for a second. Catching your breath. Back up to tabletop. Curl those toes down. Let's go into a downward dog. Pushing the heels to the ground. Letting that head hang between the elbows. Hips up to sky. Big press into the ground with the heels. Walking those hands up to toes. And then over to the right. Feeling a nice stretch in that right side, that right hamstring. Walking over to the left. Big stretch in that left hamstring. Back to center. Rolling up. One big stretch up to the ceiling. And then over to the right, left. And then the right. A couple of big circles backwards with your arms. And then forwards. And you are all done. So that was your total body workout. You got a little lower body, some upper body, and some core in there. Again, it's not time, so feel free to pause it whenever you'd like or slow it down. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.